Perhaps you have a node and a log PTV camera, you want to control it, but you don't know how. In this video, I'll explain how to use RS-485 to do this job. So, keep watching! Okay, let's talk about PTV and RS-485, so you can control your camera remotely using your DVR or your joystick using extra cables, okay? I'm talking about analog camera, right? So here I have an example with a PTZ camera here connecting to a DVR using a cable, a coaxial cable. So I can send video from the camera to the DVR and I, I can also send com comments to the camera using extra cables, right? I'm not talking about coaxitron control or CCVC control. Coaxitron is a PELCO control. You can send commands using the video cable, the coaxial cable, right? I'm not talking about this. Uh, let's suppose there is there is no option here to use this and also not talking about TCVC that's a Samsung protocol that allows you to send command through the video cable so it can control your camera okay so let's just forget about it let's say we don't you don't have coaxitron you don't have CCVC let's uh, run extra cable to control your PTZ okay that's uh, old school but the way it works is using extra cable to send the commands right so let's remove here coaxitron and let's remove the video cable. Let's just talk about commands here with extra cables. So let's say you have your DVR here and then you have in the back part of the DVR you have something like this, RIS-485 and you have something like D plus, D minus or negative or positive, right? And or TX plus, TX minus, RX plus. My plus RX minus, right? Something like this in your DVR. Depends of the model, it will be different, but something like this. Then you need to connect from the DVR to the PTZ, okay? So you connect the cable just like this, positive and positive and negative and negative, right? Or uh, plus and plus and minus and minus. I don't know the way you talk there, but that's the way you have to connect, okay? So you just need to look at, at your camera documentation to make sure which cable you connect to the camera, all right? And then you have to choose the protocol. The camera, the PTZ camera works with a protocol and also your DVR or, jo or joystick. Usually you can have PELCOP in all devices. Let's say, for example, you're not using Pelco camera, you're using Bosch camera and Samsung DVR, okay? Pelco is going to have their protocol, uh, sorry, Bosch is going to have uh, Bosch protocol and Samsung is going to have Samsung protocol. But they usually also have Pelco P or Pelco D protocol because Pelco is a universal protocol. Pelco is a big manufacturer and they created Pelco protocol long, long time ago. So every camera manufacturer, every DVR manufacturer, when, when they're using analog solution, they also have Pelco P. So it's a common protocol for everybody. Okay. So there are different brands then. You can use Pelco P, for example. Okay. You also have Honeywell, Calatel, Vicom protocol. Every manufacturer has its own protocol, but in this case, we're going to use Pelco P because they're different brands, right? And then you also have to choose your baud rate. Let's say, for example, 1200 or 2400, 4800 or uh, 9600, right? I'm going to pick 9600 for this case. You also need to choose your par parity, none or even or odd, right? I'm going to use none here. Data bit, either eight or one, I'm going to use one, and stop bits, I'm going to use one, okay? So that's the combination. If I have Pelco P, 9600 non one one here in the camera, I must do the same here in the DVR. In the camera, you have dip switches, you can just um, change the dip switch of, of position, and then you can choose those parameters, right? protocol, baud rate, parity, data bit, and stop bit. You just follow the sequences here and you do the same in your DVR. You go to the DVR menu and you choose there all those parameters, okay? They must match them, okay? Then you, when you press the button here, you can control your camera. The DVR just send the command to the camera and then the camera changes the position 
doing the pan, tilt, and zoom movements, right? It's the same if you're using here a joystick. Let's say you have another camera here. How can you control the camera number one or camera number two? How the system knows which one is which? You can just connect a cable like this. So the command, the command goes to every device on this line. You can connect more cameras here up to 255 cameras, right? In line here. And then you have ID for the cameras. You have ID 1, ID 2. If you have a 30 camera, it will be ID 3, ID 4. Now you keep going up to 255. And then when the DVR sends the command to the camera, the command goes to everybody, but the camera is going to hear and say, hey, this command is for me because I have ID 1. The same happens with the camera number 2. When, when you select camera number 2 here, you send, command, send the commands to the wire and the camera number 2 is going to respond and make the movement, right? So the camera number 2 moves. And that's the idea. It's pretty simple. Distance usually for IS-485 is up to 1200 meters, okay? And here an example of a camera, deep switch. So you open your camera, you're gonna find deep switch and also gonna find some documentation that explain how it works. It's not, uh, it's not the same for every single camera, right? It's uh, different manufacturers do this different ways. You just need to check your documentation and look at things like this. Let's say here, for example, deep one to six is the address. So you can choose ID number one, ID number two. It's a combination. You lo just look in the table and you can choose the ID for your camera. So it's the same for everything else. Let's say, for example, deep seven and eight, you can choose the speed, right? The baud rate, 9600, you just put off and on. 4800, you put on and on. 2400 off off and 1200 on and off. That's the combination for deep seven and eight here. Seven and eight, here they are. And then you can have your camera working uh, according to your configuration, right? You also can choose the protocol on for Pelco P, for example, off for, for Pelco D, okay? And that's the idea, you just go to your camera make the configuration there and then you go to your DVR and do exactly the same configuration and everything is going to work, right? In this video, I'm not going to show uh, something live on a camera, configuring a camera, right? Because I'm going to leave this for another video. I can't explain everything like in theory and something uh, on live on the camera at the same time. It's uh, kind of hard to do it because I I have to do first a video with the theory and later I can do a video with everything working in a practical situation, right? So don't miss the next videos, right? I, I'll have more videos here in the channel showing how to do in a camera, how an example of a configuration, right? So let's just uh, finish this video with this theory in mind, right? All right, now you know more about PTZ cameras, you know how to control it using RS-485. But if you want to learn more, just visit my website, learntztv.com. I have the link here in the description. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up and leave your comments. See you in the next video.